Uh, well, we're in the beautiful surroundings of Chudley Cricket Club, in my opinion, unbiased as it is, one of the nicest grounds in Devon. Uh, my name's Steve Ripley, and I usually bat around number nine, bowl first change at Chudley. As a bowler, I come down and bowl very hard at the batsmen, and they go off to the pub, and I'd be left there with no decent bowling to practice my batting with. So uh, the reason I particularly like this machine so well is I'm really getting good quality bowling to bat against. They just can't get the practice from their own club bowlers. One goes down the leg side, one goes down the off side, and one comes for the head next ball. Uh, they totally lose their concentration and their confidence. Again, they aren't confident when, when they're just being used as a human target, really. We are not machines, so we can't put the ball there every single ball. It'd be great if we could on that, on that spot. It'd be fantastic, you know, if I could just put it there every ball. But we're not machines. And there's Walsh. Walsh is a tall man from the West Indies. He looks mean and lean. The bowlers are the jewel in the crown. Quick bowlers are looked after, maybe too much looked after. So the bowling machine takes a lot of the drudgery out, a lot of the hard work, a lot of the unnecessary work that the fast bowlers have got to go through in order to get your bat into peak form. So no, they're a help to bowlers, not a hindrance. They're a help to bowlers and reduce the hard work. I prefer to bowl in short spells because I find that early on you can pull muscles because of the cold weather and everything. And I'm a great believer in short, sharp sessions with quality. I don't believe in a bowler bowling for an hour and a half in the net, so I think that's pointless because the quality then goes downhill. And the bowling machine is able for batsmen to come in in the morning and get practice. And they can, you know, they can practice against the bowling machine for an hour. You know, and, and, it, and it's able to bowl in swingers, out swingers, spin, off spin, leg break. It can do all the works. So that's the advantage um, they have with the bowling machine. They can just set it up and um, they're able to practice all day against this. And it saves us, saves us our legs. You know, bowlers, uh, they've only got a certain amount of uh, time left in legs. And, you know, it's important for bowlers to be, to be fit for the middle. And if they've been bowling for long spells during the games, then it's really unnecessary for them to come into bowl and bowl to, you know, the batsmen in the nets for long periods of time. So, in this case, it's brilliant with the bowling machine can do uh, just that job. My first, I think, game I played was about 70, 78 club cricket. I mean, we didn't ever have a bowling machine. No, no, we never knew what a bowling machine was. I mean, I think um, the closest I ever came to seeing a bowling machine, I think, was. Um, when I watched, um, I think it was, I think it was a baseball coaching film. I was on TV, and they actually had these machines what was propelling these balls at um, at the players, and they just used to hit it, hit it, hit it. In 1984, I was in, I was invited for a game of cricket after a 20-year layoff, and uh, it really showed me that I needed some practice. And on investigating what practice facilities there were, I discovered that there weren't really there weren't really any. Um, except for the odd American pitching machine, which had been imported. Um, but they weren't really suitable for cricket. And um, anyway, decided we'd, we'd make one. This is our current top of the range machine, the professional. If I take the lid off, you can see exactly how it works. Inside, we've got two contra-rotating spinning wheels. If you put a ball between the wheels, it picks it up and spits it out the other side. The circumferential speed of the wheels is imparted to the ball. We, uh, with youngsters, we say 35 miles an hour. Good club players, 55, maybe 60 miles an hour. But the top players, 70, 75 miles an hour. Now I have used it at 90, 92, 3 miles an hour. Bowling bounces at one of our young players. It's breathtaking. To think that a human could propel the ball that fast, it's mind-blowing. You can only just see the ball. And when you see players like Graham Gooch, Mike Atherton, who can actually play a proper shot, with, when they look to actually time, it's, it's just it's incredible. 
I mean, the bowling machine is very important for us in the winter because of particular facilities or lack of them we have here at Old Trafford. It doesn't give the bowlers a, a long run-up, so they can't generate any real pace in there. Um, so the bowling machine is the only uh, realistic way of keeping your eye in to reasonably quick deliveries. Our players and pupils that come to us can practice against the quicker bowling. And they can get used to speed so that we gradually move it up two miles an hour all the time. So we might start a lad off at 55, up to 57, 59, 61, just keep moving it up. And as he gets used to one speed, we move it up a little bit further. And it's surprising the speed they can eventually play after a session like that. Uh, pace is only uh, relative, really. Technique to start is the most important thing, I feel. But uh, sharpening up and getting your reflexes used to playing against fast bowling and your confidence against playing against fast bowling, I feel is one of the, one of the main things. Um, I started uh, at the age of about 10. I've used the bowling machine for many years now and I think it's, uh, it's a great way to, to form any technique. Uh, it's a great way to groove your shots, to groove the cover drive or the square cut. And I must admit, whenever I've, I've had a bit of a bad patch uh, during the cricket games, I've always reverted to the bowling machine and I've always found this worked tremendously. Here, on this control panel, we have two controls. This one for speed, and this one controls the amount of swing on the ball. It's a differential control. If you bias the differential control to the left, it speeds the left hand wheel up and slows the right hand one down, and will swing the ball into a right-hander. If you bias it to the right, it speeds the right hand wheel up and slows the left hand one down, and that will swing the ball away from a right-hander. The 12 o'clock position gives you a straight ball. Uh, swing bowling. Swing bowling's been great. Uh, you can speed up or uh, speed down each wheel, so it has the ability to swing into the, into the bat. It al also has the ability to swing away from the bat. And it's very difficult, um, you know, sometimes to get bowlers bowling to you all the time. So having the bowling machine there is brilliant because you can practice by yourself and for as long as you want. Well, we would use against the good players, we can use the outswing and inswing. And uh, this, of course, the, the outswing really is the ball that beats the better class batsmen. This is recognized by all the bowlers as the ball that beats them. And we get a lot of players coming in here who want, especially the, the county players, who specifically ask to beat the ball to be either swung away or in. Well, the, the swing bowling is, is um it's, pr it's probably more than you'd get anywhere, really, except for maybe Massey on a good day at <laughs> Lords, wherever it was. But um, yeah, it, it, it's very early the swing, I think, but um, it, it is quite useful to face it, and uh, it, it gets you used to it if you do come across a, a good swing bowler. One of the last times Dad was coaching me on the bowling machine was bowling fast in swingers at me, at my toes. Very, really awkward ball to play, but continually bowling them at, at 80 miles an hour, swinging in about two, two or three foot into my toes. But he expected me to play it, and and in the end I ended up playing it because I could get the practice against it. Really, you find out. If, Unless you can get wacky units to come and bowl at you, which I'm sure he wouldn't do. Uh, where do you get the practice like that? As I say, outswing and inswing on call, and there's no bowler in the world can do that as accurate as the bowling machine. 